Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, Go High Level tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I will show you how to automatically delete scam or spam Facebook messages with Go High Level. Now obviously before we get started, you will need a Go High Level account, so you can get one with a link down below. You have a 30 day free trial, so definitely check that out. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing before we go into Go High Level, we need to go on the Facebook and go into your Facebook dashboard of your Facebook page or your Facebook business page. Go to the settings and make sure you go to messaging and make sure to turn off the guest mode status. You can also turn on um, that people need to log in before they actually go and comment or message you directly on your Facebook. So you can do this in the messaging section. So first of all, do that. Now, next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go and switch to a sub account where our Facebook business page is connected to. So click on that. And what we want to do is we want to go to marketing section or automation, sorry, not marketing. We need to go to the workflow section because we need to create a workflow where whenever someone goes and whenever someone message us a spam message, usually the keywords are the same on each spam message. And we need to think of the keywords, you know, for example, business opportunity or, you know, uh, meta support sometimes you know scammers and spammers will have meta support in their uh, you know in their keywords obviously you don't want to uh, you know ban the keywords that your potential customers are messaging you so you just go to create workflow here and you will see how this works so we go start from scratch here and um, first of all what we want is we want to add a new trigger which is uh, customer reply so Whenever customer reply, we can add a filter here. Um, so let's go customer reply and we can go here. So it needs to have standard fields, contain phrase, doesn't have tag, exact match phrase, hashtag, uh, reply to channel. And then here we can go and make sure it's Facebook Messenger. You can do this to your email. You can do this to your chat widget, to your calls, to your Instagram DMs. However, Facebook Messenger is what we're doing right now. We wanna save this trigger. Now, once we save this trigger, we can go and we can add uh, another one, which is an if else. So um, yeah, we can go with if else, and this will be called scam messages. So what we wanna do is we wanna say contact reply or contact replied, and then, or not replied, we wanna go back actually, so we need to go here, contact, reply, replied message contains, and then you have an input. That's what we want to do. So what this will do is whenever someone replies to your Facebook Messenger, um, if that replied message has an input of this and that keyword, then we will block the contact or we will delete the contact, right? So that's what we want to do. So obviously here you can put your own keywords. Uh, I'll put keyword just for this video, uh, which can be like business opportunity, meta support. Um, I don't know, it can be like um, join now or something like that. And we can save action here. And what we want to do is we want to end this, but we want to end it before here is we want to go and we want to delete the contact. So. Yeah, that's pretty much what we want to do. This is the workflow that you want to do. So you have trigger. So whenever customers replies uh, are this and that uh, right here, we want to delete the contact because we don't want to have um, basically the messages in our inbox. We, want, we just want to have our customers in our inbox. So that's what we want to do. This is the entire workflow. Again, um, for this, you will need to have a Go High Level account. So definitely check out our link down below uh, with a 30 day free trial. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in another video. Thank you guys for watching.